Hello YouTube, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you three more um, crypto news updates on PCN.today. So this news update is brought to you by PreferredCurrency.news. Alright, so without further ado, let's begin. So this news, the news that I'm going to read with you or share with you are from this website. Okay, so right so let's begin so the first one is Asia's got talent for crypto startups block show opens pitch competition in Singapore so block show is preparing a live stream business pitch competition for startups called exp20 which will take place on November 29 2018 the um, event is a new segment of their Asia blockchain week program that will be hosted in Singapore from November 27 until December 1, dubbed the largest blockchain um, technology roadshow by VentureBet. So Asia Blockchain Week addresses the rise of this Asian economy and the region's growing interest in blockchain technology. So Crypto Coliseum. So XP20 is a new startup competition which will be a live stream during the Asian Blockchain Week taking place on the event's second stage. The teams will each be given 10 minutes to pitch their technology to a panel of investors. The most viable projects tend to win different kinds of support such as funding, promotion or important connections. Should they be able to convince the panel that their idea has the potential to be successful at a global scale? The block show team says it's a ruthless competition requiring both top-notch technology and sharp business skills perfectly suited for the blockchain startup sphere the competition offers entrepreneurs the chance to pitch their business idea to a panel of venture capitalists and then defend themselves and their ideas under questioning in the hopes of convincing one of the panel to invest in their product the XP20 will be streamed online for anyone interested in the most cutting-edge applications of blockchain technology. Um, the panel will include the following blockchain investment funds, Sora Ventures, GBIC, Fenbushi, Zenith Ventures, Red Dot Ventures, Rock Expansion, XSQ, Vision Capital, Plutus VC, BCI, Blockchain One, Block Asset and Tribe VC. This isn't the first time Block Show has had startups compete for funding. The Block Show Oscars have been a staple of every Block Show conference and is based on a similar concept a competition where 10 startups were given the chance to showcase their creations. It has brought attention to projects such as Electrify Asia, Bancor, and Status who have raised over 100 million dollars each day I mean each after they won their awards okay so the crucial difference of the new competition is that while there was only one block show Oscar winner all 10 EXP20 participants have the potential to walk away with value support I mean valuable support they also all face the risk of failure in the block show team ads. With no guarantees and fierce competitive pool of applications, it will be a highly engaging event attracting viewers from all over the globe. So top speakers. Right? So Block Show Asia Blockchain Week will take place at Singapore Marina Bay Sands Hotel as a leading conference on blockchain and cryptocurrency it promises to be one of the the biggest events on the fintech calendar in collaboration with coin telegraph this year's block show is expected to attract over 2000 attendees and feature over 100 leading blockchain experts from around the world this year's program will be focusing on topics such as 
the post-ICO future of blockchain investments and corporations, tackling blockchain, offering attendees a chance to consider blockchain's newfound place in the global market. Um, the lineup of speakers at Asia Blockchain Week includes some of the most well-known cryptocurrency personalities, Bob Lee, co-founder of BTCC, and board member of the Bitcoin Foundation, Tony Tong. Vice uh, Chairman of the Ch of China Credit Management Association and Co-Chairman and Co-Founder of Hong Kong Blockchain Association and Jehan Chu, Co-Founder and Managing Partner of Kinetic and Co-Founder of Social Alpha Foundation. These personalities will be joined by other high-profile names such as Stanley Yong, CDO of IBM, former Head of Innovation at the Monetary Authority of Singapore, Jason Tu, Crypto Congressman and Taiwan Legislator Remington Ong, Partner at Fimbushi Capital Ma Michael Gu, Founder of Box Mining um, Vanessa Kao, Partner at Sora Ventures Former Managing Director at GRR Crypto Thomas Lee, Co-Founder and Managing Partner at Fundstrat Global Advisors LLC Sin Hei Li Founding partner at Global Blockchain Innovative Capital and Block72 International Blockchain Consulting Richard Wang, partner at DFJ Dragon Fund Draper Dragon Fund Dr. Ben Gortzel, Chief Scientist at Hanson Robotics and CEO at Singularity Net and Ted Lin, Chief Growth Officer at Binance So trend setting event um, since 2016, block show events have been held in Europe, America, and Asia, drawing turnouts in thousands, its organizers say. Right, so that is the first update that I, uh, I'm re I read to you. So the next one is this one. So Bitfury partners with the Russian Economics University to establish blockchain accelerator. So, multi-sectoral bro blockchain company Bitfury has partnered with the Plekhanov Russian University of Economics to create an accelerator for blockchain projects. Russian crypto news outlet Forklog reports to November 21. In addition to supporting the development of blockchain projects, the university will provide courses and additional education dedicated to training specialists who are able to create innovative projects using digital technologies in a short time. This will enable specialists to bring the projects to market and the new industrial revolution. Dimitri Yufave, the head of Bitfury Asia, toward, told Forklog. Okay, so according to Forklog, the project will be backed by Russia's Ministry of Digital Development, Communications and Mass Media. A ministry official cited by the news outlet stressed that the pilot program meets the aspirations of both public institutions and large corporations that need to be modernized. As Cointelegraph previously reported, major universities worldwide are offering crypto-related courses with increasing frequency. According to a recent Coinbase study, 42% of the world's top 50 universities such as Berkeley, Stanford, and Cornell offer at least one class on cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Earlier this week, Tokyo University announced a course in blockchain technology after various companies, including Japanese banking giant Sumitomo Mitsui, donated 800,000 US dollars to support the program. In October, the University of Gibraltar established an advisory group that will focus on the development of blockchain related educational courses. Okay, so that is my second um, update or use update. Right, so and the third one is crypto hardware wallet ledger resumes Bitcoin Cash services. Okay, so Bitcoin Cash or BCH services for cryptocurrency hardware wallet ledger have resumed, according to an announcement, announcement published November 23. Ledger suspended its BCH service on November 14 in anticipation of the cryptocurrency's hard fork to prevent unwanted transactions and potential replay attacks. During the service pause, it was not possible to send BCH through the wallet's infrastructure. 
Okay, so the BCH network experienced an upgrade on November 15, resulting in a complex battle and eventually splitting the blockchain into two. BCH ABC, supported by the crypto evangelist Leroy Gerber, and BCH SV, led by Craig Wright. The hash war led cryptocurrency exchanges around the world to temporarily suspend BCH trading and withdrawals. Today, Ledger announced it has re enabled its BCH services. Um, okay, so where were we? Here. Such as adding accounts and sending the altcoin. The wallet also made a, a statement in its Twitter account. Our Bitcoin Cash service is back online in the form of Bitcoin Cash ABC. We're also providing you with a help center article explaining how to claim your Bitcoin Cash SV. It is recommended to do this before sending Bitcoin Cash. Ledger noted that as of now, BCH SV is not supported in Ledger Live. The company recommended its clients to use the Electron Splash splitting tool before making any BCH transactions. If not, users may reportedly risk losing their um, BCH SV if not if an attacker replaces their transaction the BCH SV chain or vice versa. So those were the updates on the uh, news website preferred currency dot uh, preferred currency news or PCN dot today. Okay guys. So these um, as you can see the first one is very interesting since there's um there's going to be a competition for startups and this will be a chance this will give chance to startups to fund their project right okay so the next one with fury partners with russian economics university to, set, to establish blockchain accelerator so this is also very very um, interesting third one um, is also interesting um, because especially uh, to those who are um, to those who have ledger wallet okay you can now um, save your BCH but in a form of BCH ABC okay so you must use um, electron splash splitting tool before saving it in ledger okay so those are the news updates okay guys uh, please also don't forget about visiting uh, preferred currency dot news so preferred currency dot news is a subscription website where you will be mailed every day of the new updates or on cryptocurrency or you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates on for on cryptocurrencies okay so this is only for $15 a month or $180 a year so also uh, join this telegram um, telegram group it's called EOS podcast and video so you'll um, to keep up with all the latest podcasts and videos being published for EOS and also, um, if you want to join Initiative Q, you can join Initiative Q using my um, invitation link below, right, at that description. And also, um, if you want to get rewarded in crypto by doing social service on the blockchain and giving feedbacks, download Rubius.io in your favorite app store or Google, in Google Play Store, right, guys? So if you want to read more about the latest news, visit PCN.today or if you want the news to be mailed to you personally, subscribe at FerdCurrency.news for only $15 a month or $180 a year. Okay guys, so guys before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. You must always use your own I mean you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself okay so guys this has been Vic um, bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies daily so please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe see you on the next video bye bye